But since we did give everybody a moment to show up and uh, whatnot, we might as well get the game started, shall we? Spiderway Chronicles. I have no idea. I have no idea anything about it. It's a movie, apparently. You guys are telling me it's a movie and a book. Rue says it's a book. Uh, and it was good from what they remember, so that's cool. Um, uh, and, and Doris Lady says that the Spiderway Chronicles movie is lit. I didn't know it was a movie or a book, so this is going well. <laughs> yeah, I have, I, I know, I know nothing about, about it, like, at all, man. Honestly. Your initial instinct is cringing, because if you remember correctly, a creature spits in someone's eyes. That's awesome. I'm sure Nude will love that, because, uh, <laughs> she has a thing with, like, bodily fluids. Yeah. There, there it is. <laughs> she's, uh, she's not a fan of, of, of bodily fluids in general. <laughs> yep. That's how you can see the little goblins. They spit in your eyes. That's lovely. <laughs> that's, that's real nice. Glad, glad to hear that's a thing. I wonder what the game's gonna play like. If it's gonna be like absolute garbage, dumpster fire, or if it's gonna be pretty decent. Is it gonna be a random turn-based RPG like uh, Lord of the Rings was? I don't know, man. I do very little uh, <laughs> pre pre uh, looking into these things or whatever. You know, I just kind of react as we go along with it. See, see, see what it's all about. We got subtitles. Here we are, Noodle. I turned the subtitles on. You can see the subtitles say on. I don't know if it'll save or not, but I turned the subtitles on. If they're spinning in eyes in the game, then dumpster fire, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you would feel that way. That's fair. That's fair. I kind of like this uh, somber little tune we got going on here in the beginning. That's kind of nice. It's a nice, simple little, a little uh, jaunty is not the right word, but you know. Hey, speaking of dumpster fire games, man, the uh, Just One More Level podcast. <laughs> no, uh, so the Dorseman and I have been talking about it a little bit, and uh, it was actually his idea, but I'm, I'm really happy for it. We are... Excuse me, we have uh, decided to do the top, at least top 12 games, one for each month. I mean, we already kind of missed January, but, you know, whatever. We technically played one of the top games on the, the PlayStation 2, top selling games on the PlayStation 2 in January, so it's fine. We'll just pretend like it's 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 there, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 so it should be fun. I mean, we're going to be doing other games as well, of course, but, you know, that's, uh, kind of the plan there is to do the, the the top games one each month at least one each month and then uh whatever other games we feel like playing all from the ps2 era hey nate didn't even see your message there man i missed it in the uh the the mix of things switching the scan mode yeah let's try it good it's working okay uh you're on progressive scan do you wish to keep this mode yes widescreen nah man the the ps2 to me feels like a four by three game console you know like, it, it should be played in 4x3. I've tried a couple games in 16.9, in and it's just... It's not doing it for me, man. It, it, it's not hitting right. How dare I ignore Nate? I wasn't ignoring him. I just uh, missed his what up message. Noodle. Apparently, they're spitting in eyes, so not good. Yeah, that's, that's fair. If somebody's spitting in your eye, you're probably having a bad day, you know? Of how we have the usual piece for the most part, but we have loads of fun regardless, even if you only have, like, five water. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. That's... All I do this for, man, is just fun, you know? Especially if it's Karen. Wait, what? <laughs> the Karen spitting in the eye or receiving the spit in the eye? That's the, that's the question. Spitting very bad. You just got here, so it's all good. You didn't miss anything, Nate. We're just getting started, really. Hi, Arthur. I discovered an unseen world in the woods around my home. This game seems awfully quiet. I began to study and document the magical creatures, both friendly and uh, less so. 
Little did I know that my efforts contained in this field guide would be my very undoing. Yeah, I got it turned up all the way. It just seems a little quiet. Hey, Doris Lady, thank you for the three bit cheer. I appreciate it. Years later, my niece, Helen Grace, moved to the. At least we have subtitles. Like, the, the subtitles are working, at least. You know, I'll take that. Yeah, I, I got it turned up all the way, man. I don't know why it's so quiet. They would not suffer the same and then you have games like Lord of the Rings that are just incredibly loud whenever i play them like you had a karen try to bite your hand rude what the hell happened there why isn't that the the crazy dude um oh uh, what's his name norman norman bates isn't that norman bates <laughs> Because if that's Norman Bates, man, this whole game just took a uh, a, a wild turn here. Like, <laughs> it is not at all what I expected. Her coupon was expired. She tried to bite your hand because your coupon was expired. That is ridiculous. <laughs> so I went to hand it back. She tried to bite me. Well, because you said bite me. Yeah, that's why. But it's fine. I permitted it. And yes, says the Doris Lady, that is Norman Bates. That's insane, man. So, uh, when do we start murdering people? That's, uh... <laughs> Look at photo of Dad. That's kind of heartfelt. I'm not hungry. I, well, I am, so eat the damn crackers. <laughs> not a care in the world. Okay. So, this is feeling a little, uh... A little white Lion Witch in the Wardrobe-esque so far, you know? If you've been up to the tower, it's cool. No, I have not. I'm guessing that's where we should be going, though, to progress through with things. You had a lady slapping your pimp head and you almost walked away from her. Why was she slapping the pimp head? I'm sure you've told me at some point, but... Why do we have so much salt? That is an insane amount. I, I know he just said something about his aunt must have having a salt deficiency or whatever, but that... It does not explain that much salt. Also, is there a hole in this wall? Or, oh no, that's wallpaper that's torn up. Okay. <laughs> uh, Lady you Mallory. Go to bed. If you wake mom up before her first day of work tomorrow, you're dead. But. Okay. Shh. Thanks. Is that my I, sister or something? My stuff alone. Uh, I'll do what I want. Rude. Hey, leave my stuff oh alone. my lord, whatever. Just get away from this lady. I don't like her. She got banned permanently. You adored working at Safeway. You just got bored after two years of doing the same thing over and over and over and over. Yeah, that's very true of retail, man. Trust me. <laughs> Speaking of uh, retail, though, not talking about retail, actually. Uh, <laughs> my side project has been going well. I haven't gotten to do a whole lot of work on it just because, you know, been busy and whatnot. But I did force myself to take at least two hours last night. I actually ended up being just a little bit over two hours to, to work on it a little bit. And uh, I'm happy to say things are progressing, you know. I have smooth movement over network now. So, uh, you know, when you're playing your multiplayer game, you can, you can move your dude. I can move my dude. And it's all good. And, yeah, I mean, it still has a long, long way to go until there's actually anything to, to show off, obviously. But... It's uh it's progressing though, which is nice. Right, so we can we can swing things. We can we can jump with square cuz obviously that's the jump button. This game has weird controls, man. I'm going to fight you stream. <laughs> I'm intentionally not telling Nate about the project. Um he has to find out about it the same time that everybody else does, even though normally I would uh give him some insider info. <laughs> but he probably will get to play it before most people because I, I like to use him as a tester. Maybe with your new desktop, you might actually be able to do it then. Hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely going to need testers and stuff for the game once I uh, have something really decent to test. So, yeah, by all means, man. Uh, Why are you in my room now, Simon? What if I hit you with a stick? I kind of like it. Have you been up to... 
Yes, I've been up to the tower, I think. How do we how do we hit people with sticks? <laughs> okay, the, he doesn't care. He just ignores it. Stick doesn't exist, apparently. It just phases right through him. She had a big-ass order, ran her food card, then your pimp had rebooted. To fix that, we have to reboot the whole system. You told her it was going to be a few minutes before it comes back up, and she said, okay. Well, it took like five minutes for it to come back, back up, and she started huffing and puffing, and at some point, she started slapping your pimp pad, telling it to hurry up. See, like, that sounds a bit annoying, but at the same time, like, that could have been playful, too, you know? I'm sure since it made you so angry, it wasn't playful, and it was, like, uh, super annoying the way she was doing it but you know it could be okay oh hell you've had pinpoint pads do that and it's a fucking pain because they take four fucking ever to reboot very true man very true every time the power goes out in my store which uh for short periods of time is actually not that uncommon and oh man it sucks because every register in the store goes down obviously and then has to be rebooted and it's a whole pain in the ass Found a stick on the ground in this power. Totally gonna abuse it. Hell yeah. Open front door? Not going outside, okay. Is the house actually alive? There's some Encanto shit going on in here? Uh, I have no idea what we're actually supposed to be doing. I thought we were supposed to just go up to the tower, but I presume that's where I found the, the broom handle, the stick. And that doesn't seem to be what it wants us to do, since, you know, we're still just running around in circles. Couldn't send her to the other register since one of her cards already went through. She was not being playful. <laughs> hey guys, baggies. 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 <laughs> All the random voice quips. Is that more salt? Please tell me that's not more salt. No, that's got to be like oats or something, right? Oats or 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 some some sort of food thing. Oh no, it's the the things, the things that do the spitting in eyes. Press the start button to go to the pause menu where you can change settings, read about active quests, and view your status. Notebook. From the options page, you can quit to the main menu or just game options. Now press R1 to move to the quest page. If you are stuck, check the quest page. Most quests have several tasks. Select a quest or task and press X for more details. Review the character page to see which attacks have been unlocked. Info about your, your current sprite power and item collection details. Okay. Goblin teeth, fire salamanders, cockroaches, and birdhouse items. At first, I was thinking that was like a potion recipe or something like that. Baggies. Hey, Canes. What's up, man? Happy to see you here. Got to keep the spirits away. Lots of salt. You. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess that's one use for for all that salt, but it's like everywhere. Maybe that is what they were using it for, though. Maybe they were trying to keep whatever the hell gremlins. Is that what y'all called them? You like the spit monsters, Mr. Noodle? Spit monsters. Gross. Cockroaches. Ooh, very true. Very true. Tomatoes. This is all tomato sauce. I mean, I like tomatoes as much as anybody, but my lord, man, that is, that is a ton. Also, I'm pretty sure my parents would be pissed if I just took a broom handle and started smacking the wall with it. A dumb wife. It looks like something's been living inside. Wonder if I could fit. Oh yeah, go into the old creepy dumb waiter. I'm sure it'll be fine. Nothing bad ever happens in these situations. Oh, we have to. Okay, so we just rotate them at the same time. A little weird, but okay, it's working. We're going. We're making our way up. Super speed. <laughs> awesome. Whoa, a hidden room. Man, I wish I had a hidden room in one of the houses I've lived in, you know? We kind of sort of did. Not a house I lived in, but in uh, my aunt's house, my cousin's house. They, in the attic, where there was two bedrooms up in the attic, and uh, one of them, there was a hole in the wall, couldn't tell you why, but the space on the other side of it was huge. Like, it was it was large enough to be a small secret room, and in fact, that's basically what they used. I mean, obviously, the parents and everybody knew about it, but they kept a bunch of, like, toys and a blanket and everything back there and just kind of chilled in there. Also, I didn't realize we went back into the dump later. <laughs> I kind of I kind of wanted to explore a little bit more up there. I didn't mean to go straight back down Now oh, we have to do this every time we want to go up to the secret room 
somebody needs to uh put some wd-40 or something on those those ropes hey mr Ru with another five bit cheer thank you love cool i do appreciate you a workbench Simon kane says oh i wish i had a secret room oh man wouldn't that be awesome though just like a for real secret room nobody Simon knew about it but you that'd be dope that's uh if i ever get a a house of my own like own a house not renting a house or whatever that's gonna be my office man Something is blocking it. It's gonna be a secret ass room. Nobody's gonna know about it but me. Mr. Noodle's gonna wonder where the hell I disappear to. And uh every time I stream. But she's never gonna find me. Spywood could have opened his own library. I wonder what I could catch with this. So okay, it doesn't look like there's anything actually to do up here. Well, maybe we missed the desk. We got a fancy key, okay. In a man's torso, you will find my secret to all my... In a man's torso, you will find my secret to all mankind. In a man's torso. Do we have to, like, chop open a dude and, and, and find some, some secrets in his innards? It's a little gross, man. Someone's, someone was getting close to my number one spot. <laughs> no, sometimes I need to find you. Uh, I guess that's a valid concern. Uh, statue that would make sense put the key in the belly button maybe maybe or we just chop open a dude and uh, dig around saw style you know you wanted to murder you said I mean you're not wrong I, I probably did say that at some point <laughs> it's just because the actor that plays the this kid is Norman Bates man makes me that. makes me think of murder like the cats like to terrorize me now and you need to take care of that <laughs> <laughs> oh, they get one mouse and leave it on the floor, and Mr. Noodle's having a fit. So I need to be easily found. Whatever helps you sleep at night, stream. <laughs> I don't think murder would help me sleep at night. Well, maybe. <laughs> Blame it on Norman. Exactly. It's all Norman's fault, man. I'm pretty sure you were saying that in a uh, sarcastic manner, but no, it's definitely Norman's fault. All right, is the, the, we were climbing on a wall there for a second. So th this game is definitely just, just a wee bit buggy. <laughs> like it, it works so far, but it, it's been a little, a little buggy here and there. Field guide warning. Do not dare to read this book for if you take one faithful look, you will barter at your life's expense and face a deadly consequence. So let's read it. Yeah. I mean, obviously, that's what we gotta do, right? Like, Inside was an old crumbling book. guess what he does? Hmm, <laughs> no idea. Speaking of normal, we need to finish The Good Doctor. It was so good. What we did watch. It was pretty decent what we watched, yeah. That's not creepy at all. Arthur Spiderwick's field guide to the fantastical world around. Jared read through the night and realized the house had a Bogarts. Okay, Bogart. Bogart's trust and friendship. I I would call it a Bogart, but you know, Bogart's fine too, I suppose. The Bogart would cause nothing but trouble. You know, honestly, like jokes aside, so far it seems like a nice little story. I wouldn't mind reading and or watching it. I I had never heard of it before now though, so I didn't even know like it was a thing. Until until I picked up the game, and then you guys told me it was a book and whatnot. You believe that's what spits in their eyes? The Boggarts? A Boggart? Like, from Harry Potter? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, it's on Netflix. No shit. Okay. Press start to be view the field guide. We can do that. Move up and down through the list to highlight a field guide entry. Press X to go to the highlighted entry. New pages will be unlocked as you progress through the game. So we got anti-goblin potions. We got... The, the Boggart, study, and a toadstool ring. What's that do? I've created a ring of toadstools to protect the house, my family, and this book. It seems impenetrable. The toadstool ring is the only place I am assured of safety. So wait, Boggarts can't go through toadstool rings or just creepy, crawly, mystical things in general? Study, I've sealed off my study to further protect the book. I plastered over the dumbwaiter and put false shelves over the doorway in the attic. False shelves over the doorway in the attic? 
Wait. So, does that mean we can bust those down and have an easier way in and out? When angered, a brownie becomes a mischievous boggart determined to cause trouble. Honey is the key to helping Thimbletack out of his moods. A brownie becomes a mischief, like the kind you eat, right? <laughs> and then you have to feed the, the, the brownie honey to make it not rude? I'm confused. After much experimentation, I've concocted a potion that is lethal to the goblins and their ilk. I combine the burning nature of salt with acidic tomato sauce and vinegar and thicken it all up with oatmeal. <laughs> what the hell is this, man? Burning nature of salt. What does that mean? With acidic tomato sauce and vinegar, that sounds good, and thicken it all up with oatmeal. You know what? Honestly, could be tasty. I'm just saying. The hobgoblins are the spit monsters. They have bat noses. <laughs> sure. This all sounds completely legit, man. Hobgoblins with bat noses that spit in your eyes. Yep, I'm following along perfectly. <laughs> I need something stronger than a broomstick. Uh, you need something stronger than a broomstick. Yeah, probably. Too bad we can't bust it open. Alright, so we got quests, right? Let's see. A home for a brownie, and I trashed its home. This house has a brownie, and I trashed its home. Inside the dumbwaiter. I better find a new home for it. Find birdhouse, find bat. Okay, so a birdhouse and a bat. Can we go outside? Because outside seems like a pretty decent place for a birdhouse. Or is it still night? It looks day outside now. So if it's day outside, can we go exploring? You were going to suggest a dollhouse? That would work too. But it seems like the game is uh, dead set on us finding a birdhouse. So... <laughs> I guess we have no choice. Is this like a point and click adventure? Just, you know, with a, a stick that you can swing around? That's kind of what it's feeling like. Also, I appreciate it doesn't freeze us up for the autosave, but kind of weird that it uh, stays on the screen for that long, you know? All right, where, oh, where would we find a birdhouse? We got a fairy fruit. Simon can lure tricky sprites by throwing fairy fruit. Use L1 to select fairy fruit while in ranged mode as Simon. So I presume that means we can use other characters of some sort at some point. I mean, you can still see though. That's a plus. What? <laughs> you can see when they spit in your eyes, you can still see? I'm confused. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of a pretty house. I actually, I'm a small house, man. I would love to have a tiny home, honestly. Like, just give me a kitchen and a bedroom and a bathroom. That's, that's all I need to be, to be happy. Ball bearings. Jared can use ball bearings with his slingshot. Use L1 to select ball bearings while in slingshot mode. These are all things we don't have, so not particularly Mallory. useful. Mallory. Not now, Jared. I don't want to hear Oh, the autosave, bruh. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about that a moment ago, huh? That was a thing. That happened. She's kind of a dit a, a, a ditch. <laughs> She's kind of a dick, isn't she? Oh, I mean, okay. I think I may have found where we can find a birdhouse at. In this uh island of decrepit birdhouses over here. Hello, a you're idea, a birdhouse. But I can't reach these. Smack it! What do you mean you can't reach it? It's like three inches above your head. <sighs> Too high. Climb! There's like dirt and stone right in front of you. Just step up there, man. Can't I like jump somehow? Oh, really? That's all the jumping you can do? Alright, fine. Whatever. Don't pick the birdhouse up then. Uh, can you look at the birdhouse at least? Find one that isn't mounted. Uh, maybe I could, or maybe you could just take the one right in front of you. Also, who was making weird noises? <laughs> oh, hey, here's the, uh, the toadstool ring. That's, uh, interesting. I still don't really understand that. I'm, I'm assuming it has something to do with, like, fairy lore or something. That, uh, they can't pass through a ring of toadstool. Kind of like salt and spirits are a thing. 
I don't know. I'm just guessing. Fairy slash Fey, yeah. Makes sense, I suppose. I mean, not really, but neither does Salt to Spirits, so whatever. <laughs> we are just finding ball bearings everywhere, aren't we? I want to know what irresponsible fool was just walking around dropping Ooh, ball bearings all over the, the grounds. Duct tape. Who needs it? Duct tape, who needs it? Uh, everybody? Duct tape is actually, like, the most amazing thing in the world. Or maybe that, like, uh, gorilla tape or, or, I don't know, what's it called? Alligator tape? Crocodile tape? Whatever the kids use these days. <laughs> I don't know what's, what's hip with the kids. Is duct tape still cool? Rue says duct tape is cool. That's good enough for me. <laughs> you need duct tape right now? Actually, see? Who doesn't need duct tape, man? Duct tape for the win. I almost said FTW because I I I'm a millennial. <laughs> uh, what do you uh, what do you need duct tape for, Nate? For some reason, I have the vision of a pair of shoes completely wrapped in duct tape. I'm not sure why, but that's what I that's what I see in my head. Also, I think we've gone all the way around the grounds, and I don't see any any birdhouses. Five more bits. Thank you so much, Noodle. Our little uh, bit jar down there in the bottom is, I think, officially full at this point. Gen Z, 97 baby, so I was raised like a millennial. I mean, it depends who you ask, you know? Some people would put you in the, the millennial category. My favorite definition of millennial versus Gen Z is uh, if you can vividly remember the 9-11 attack on uh, the Twin Towers and all of the the controversy and whatnot surrounding it then that puts you in the millennial category that's a that was a description that i heard like a a a, a solid line that splits the two generations and i've kind of stuck with that one ever since it made sense to me and i just kind of figured that's uh that was good enough you're gonna get a quick shower noodle okay that's fine love you're prepping this bookshelf and that's fair you were rocking beat up shoes for the longest time with hot glue and all I've honestly, I've never had to do that. I've had some beaten up shoes in my life, but I've never had to duct tape or glue them together. You were three, so you do not. But you do remember VCR tapes and Blockbuster? Does that count? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I'll put you in with Nate's category there, man, as a lenial. <laughs> You're right on the edge of that. You're also a millennial because you can remember being mad because the news interrupted Strawberry Shortcake. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's hilarious, man. I was in uh, I was in elementary school. I, I do remember it pretty vividly. We got taken out of school and uh, we got moved to a different location because uh, my parents were worried about a potential attack near where we live. Um, I'm not going to get any more specific than that, but yes, so... We, we evacuated the area and uh, <laughs> and we're, we got put up in a hotel and whatnot. So, like, I, I was young enough that it didn't affect me as hard as I think it could have, for sure. Um, but at the same time, it, like, I, I knew what was going on. I realized how bad it was, but not how bad it was, you know? So, like... Yeah, it was it was weird. And then we got to stay in a hotel, which was pretty neat for a couple days because I, I didn't get to do that much as a kid, you know, growing up relatively uh, poor and all that. Like, that's not something we really did. So that was neat. But at the same time, almost the entire time we were at the hotel, there were just stories on the news of, of all the terrible things that were happening. So, you know, not not so great at the end of the day. Yeah. Your mother left you in school? That's, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure a lot of kids got left in school. But no, we, we definitely did not get left in school. But a lot of kids left. You were also in elementary. All the other kids were being picked up. You were not, if you recall correctly. Yeah, I was in, like, third grade or second grade or something like that. I don't remember what grade, but pretty young. Pretty young when it happened. Um... Yeah, it was neat. It was, uh, the, the, the hotel and everything was neat. The event was tragic and, and terrible, but, you know. And then, uh, afterwards, I remember having to take, I, I know a lot of different places didn't do this, 
but we had to take iodine tablets in school afterwards um, because of the impending threat of nuclear fallout. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it was an optional thing. It wasn't forced upon us, but it was highly encouraged. And uh, yeah, any any parent or any kid whose parents signed the papers had to had to take the tablets every so many months or weeks or days or whatever i forget how long it was in between the the times that we had to take it but yeah it was a that was interesting too at the time i didn't even really understand like why we were taking these we just were but uh, i learned later on that that was a like anti uh radiation thing that that you could do Right, you could you could take those to help prevent the the negative effects of radiation poisoning, which is uh you know a little uh a little much. <laughs> I guess that's probably why they didn't really explain it to us when we were when we, I was at that time probably in fourth grade or whatever, maybe in third. I, I really don't remember, but yeah, it's, yeah, a better weapon than the broomstick. Okay, so do we still have the broomstick, or I'm guessing not. Oh wait, we might be able to break down those shelves now though, maybe, with the with the baseball bat. We've always had to sign a slip for that to be administered in an emergency because of proximity to certain things and whatnot. Yeah. I mean that's essentially what I'm same here, but it didn't actually start for for me and the, the schools that I've been in at least until after the attacks. Because that's when they were worried about uh like the, I mean, living on the East Coast, you know, there's so many different things that could be attacked. Not the East Coast directly, but you understand what I mean. Yeah. A bike pump. So, now you're remembering CSAP. I don't know what that is off the top of my head. CSAP. Computer Science Advanced Placement. <laughs> Really? Your grandma got arrested in D.C. for protesting something? That's pretty cool. Like, I'm, uh... If, if, yeah, we're, we're gonna drop it, because we're being super vague, and that's weird, but... <laughs> but anyways, good for her, though. Stand up for what she believes in, even if I don't dis even if I don't agree, is what I was saying. Man, where is this birdhouse? I've been all over the place outside. I don't see it anywhere outside. I don't see it anywhere, like anywhere. I don't see it anywhere. Where is the birdhouse? I need birdhouses, please. Anywhere, just one, actually. I don't even need birdhouses. Just a birdhouse would be cool. A singular birdhouse. I'm starting to get nauseous. <laughs> Fish tank. Crackers? Take Sorry, a cracker? Honey would go perfectly on this? Okay, well, I'm guessing that's something we can feed to uh, the brownie or whatever. I wish you were here. Uh, it was a huge test you had to take every year from elementary up to high school, and it would take literally two months out of our schooling for studying, and the tests take in combined. We all hated it. That does sound terrible. We had standardized tests and things like that that I remember taking. In, like, uh, elementary school and then middle school and high school and all that. But, uh, I don't remember the name of any of them or anything like that, though. They didn't really bother me, though. I feel like we didn't put a huge emphasis on them. Um, I do know, like, I, I placed pretty well. Um, so, like, because I placed well, I, I know I was offered the chance to go to, like, a, a college campus for the summer to take, uh, uh, uh classes and an, at an advanced level or whatever you want to call it and, nice and different neat things like that but um yeah i never i never uh our school i don't feel like placed heavy importance on that sort of stuff definitely not two months not that i remember at least the ogts uh right at the white house thought it was cool it was over how close the business was to the school not so much the business itself from my understanding oh yeah we had a test like that but it was once a year so i don't know i also didn't go to the same school that everybody else in chat went to though actually surprisingly 
Like, <laughs> I don't think I'm actually friends with any of the people I went to school with anymore. <laughs> Just a fun fact, I kind of I kind of abandoned everybody from my schools and started hanging out with other kids <laughs> from other schools. So, you know, that's a thing. <laughs> Mood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just thinking about it. Like, I'm, I'm there's a few of them I'm cool with. Uh, like, there's one kid that I, I, I'll talk to every once in a while from one of the schools that I went to. Like, we're friends on Facebook or whatever, but I, I don't hang out with him or anything, really. Just, like, if I see him out, like, when I'm working or, or just out and about or whatever, you know, we'll say hi and catch up or whatever. And then there's one or two kids from my other school that I'm, I'm friends with on Facebook, but I, I don't, again, I don't really hang out with them or talk to them or anything like that, you know? So, okay. I'm still... I still don't know what the hell to do. <laughs> Hi, do you know where a birdhouse is? Something is going on. I found this book. <laughs> it's because OG sucks. Yeah, people from my school. Not all of them. I mean, most of them are. <laughs> but not literally all of them. There's a couple people from work that I don't think went to your school. You had an awful time there. Okay, now you're getting in the shower. Okay, Mr. Noodle. Mr. Yeah, I mean, I didn't have the greatest of times either, to be honest. I mean, there's a reason I left when I was 16. <laughs> Simon, listen to me. Jared, can you leave me alone? That's... Wow. Thanks, man. Just like, hey, GTFO. Thanks, Simon. A good man help most of the people you know you're related to. They graduated before me or after and now from another school. Yeah, yep. That's, yep. <laughs> Automod, bro, high school sucked me for me. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that, <laughs> I mean, I think I have to agree with the audi the auto mod on this one, man. <laughs> it was a typo, okay? <laughs> Whatever you say, Rue. Bro, high school sucked me for me. Wow, that's one hell of a typo. I think I'm gonna have to, uh, I think I'm gonna have to agree with the auto mod on this one, man. I think I'm gonna have to let that one slide. <laughs> oh. Oh, here's a whole area we haven't found yet. How the hell did we walk past this probably twice now? And look at that. Right there. A freaking birdhouse, man. Sucked my soul. See, and that's fine. That went through. But, uh, sucked me for me. That one's going down in the history books. We need uh, Mr. Noodle here to to mark down this occasion of uh, of you not not knowing your not knowing how to type. <laughs> Everybody had a different high school experience. Ruiz, okay, no judgment, no judgment. Yeah, it's a judgment free zone, man. You're okay. Home for the brownie, and it will fit on Arthur's desk. How cool! Your brother and sister went to OG Nate. I, uh, are they older than you? You're the youngest, aren't you? Or are you, or are you older than them? I think you're one of the younger kids in your family, right? Because you're actually a few years younger than me, if I remember correctly. Like, three, I want to say three years younger than me. So if they're older than you, there's a chance I knew them, but... I don't know. Oh, I need to pull my chair in a little bit. Hurting my back. All right, so Arthur's desk, it said. So we should be able to go right upstairs, plop this bitch on the desk, add some honey and crackers to it, and uh, give this dude a home so he doesn't have to become vicious or whatever it was they said. Also, this isn't really going to be our secret space anymore considering we just, like, knocked a giant hole in the wall pointing to it. It's workbench, stuffed bird, this desk? Is this the one? Wait, is our name Arthur? Is it our desk we're supposed to be putting it on? <laughs> I don't actually... I don't know. This looks like a pretty decent spot to put it. Or over here? Broken by the broken spectacles? There's a completely empty desk here. Maybe that one? Not legit. You were buried so much because you had no idea about dirty stuff. Oh, no. <laughs> Your nickname was the Innocent Child, but you also had extreme anxiety and wore a specific hoodie, hat, and fingerless gloves every day as a security blanket. And guys, shut up. <laughs> yeah, definitely couldn't say I was the, the innocent one. 
uh, in school. <laughs> that, uh, yeah. Nope. I understand the hoodie thing and whatnot, though. I, I was similar. I wore basically the same hoodie every day. There we go. Place birdhouse on desk. Okay. We found it. Uh, hope this makes up for the home I busted in the, uh, in the dumbwaiter earlier. Place honey cracker. Arthur is their great great uncle. Okay, okay, okay. It's what I thought, but I get confused easily. Memory's not so great. From the ogre, I put a note right on the cover. Can't you read? Not the ogre. Talking about. Wait, maybe this will make you happy. I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. I'm not falling for that. You know you want it. Eat it. <laughs> Your brother's your older, sister is younger from your mom's kids, you're the oldest. Your brother is technically your stepbrother, but known each other since we were like four. That's fair. That's I mean, I still call my brothers my brothers, you know, even though they're they're all technically stepbrothers. Well, ex stepbrothers, I guess, because my mom and and uh, her ex husband split up, obviously. Is this dude always speak in rhyme? Yep, guessing he does. Okay. <laughs> you weren't even in summer, you legit suffered because it was so bad. I, yeah, I just got used to it, man. Like, even these days, I tend to wear a hoodie even in the summer. A, a very light hoodie, obviously. Uh, but yeah, I do, I do tend to wear one. It's a, not only a comfort thing, but also I hate the sun. So, <laughs> so wearing a hoodie is nice, you know? I don't, I don't get the sun on me. It's, it's, it's wonderful. You look like the innocent one, although you were the wolf in sheep's clothing. Like, oh, he won't partake in for 20 as I'm planning where to roll up. <laughs> you don't remember him riding so much? Thimble stack is the best. Good thing Noodle isn't here. Why is the spitting about to happen? Oh, no. Or because you screwed up typing again. <laughs> Little cutie. Uh, yeah. Yeah, something. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. if, you, if you find old men cute then you know walk against books to auto climb okay we can we can do that we can climb some books but not these books apparently also are we in the wall now okay the other way for the stone to be found the other way that was a big ass jump man run forward at an edge to auto jump you can steer while in the air okay Oh, gods, I could give you the perfect example of how bad my lack of knowledge was, and you guys would laugh and gnaw because of the spitting. The ads! Yeah, I mean, we are we are getting pretty late into it. I probably should, but I've been doing them less often just because, like, I don't know. Technically, it, it's good for viewership because not having pre-rolls means you get more people in and willing to, like, stay in. But I, at the same time, I just hate running them all the time, man. If I didn't have to run ads, I, I wouldn't, but, like... I don't really have a choice, sadly. Um, and if I don't run them, then they're just gonna run in the middle of the, the game. So we will shortly. We will hear real shortly. And I also want to know what this example is. <laughs> so I can laugh at your expense. <laughs> your dad and his mom actually split a couple years back when we, you still all get together and everything and end up being a pretty clean split in the end. Yeah, my mom and stepdad split wasn't so great. <laughs> kind of funny, I laugh about it. But uh, no, it was actually pretty bad for their mental health. Um, but I still hang out with my brothers all the time and it, even him every once in a while. Uh, usually because I'm hanging out with one of my brothers and they're around him or whatever, but you know, it's it's all good. Roast cockroach, yeah, cockroaches aren't really the best, man. Hold R1 to enter ranged mode. Press X to throw a needle. He throws needles? That's gross. <laughs> we just... A, Trophy for my wall. Perhaps now I should collect them all. I think maybe you shouldn't. Also, the way it just pins them to the freaking uh, wood or stone or whatever they're on is kind of... <laughs> oh, that's gross, man. I need to invert controls because I, I cannot do this. Uh, is it under video? No. Not difficulty. Level. Probably controls and gameplay. That would make sense, man. Uh, invert 
X, Y, X and Y. I don't know. Which one's which in this game? <laughs> uh, I mean, I usually consider the Y axis to be the vertical axis, but I don't know what it is in this one, though. Is that better? Up is down, down is up, left is... Ooh. Okay, nope, that is definitely not right. Okay, hold on, <laughs> back into the options we go. Did I turn them both on? I did. I didn't mean to turn them both on. I meant to turn one on at a time. My bad. You're prepping the that bookshelf, the one you were showing off the other day? Getting all the staples out, put screws in to reinforce, clean it up, put filler in and paint. I want to, to build stuff. Like, I, I want, I really, really want to do, like, custom bookshelves and everything here, but I rent. I don't own some. I'm very uh, iffy about putting in a bunch of bookshelves and shit like that because, I mean... When I leave, I'm just going to have to tear it all down and remove it. It's not really like something I can I can do uh, and take with me, you know, because it would be built specific to the room. I mean, I'm just allowing it. I'm not even reading it first. Let's read it together. <laughs> oh, crap. OK, so every morning we would get into a circle and do the whole, hey, let's answer this prompt thing. And being in high school, the topics could stray to dirty stuff. And it got on the topic of those commercials that are weird. And I kid you not, when that topic came up, I straight up asked the teacher who was a 60 year old man of my classmates, what the heck is Viagra? That is cute. <laughs> oh, that's the sort of thing I would expect like a, an elementary uh, kid or, or maybe a younger uh, middle schooler to do though. The fact that you specifically said earlier there in uh in high school is what kills me man wow what the heck is viagra i can't believe you went that long without <laughs> without knowing what viagra was it's it, it's a heart medication that's all it's just a heart medication i mean <laughs> i mean it, it actually does help the heart in some situations uh but it also helps other things um, <laughs> I was sheltered, okay? I can see that, yeah. <laughs> oh no, Rue, you poor thing. It's okay, it's okay. This is a safe space, we're not gonna judge. We'll laugh at you, but we're not gonna judge. <laughs> oh. Everyone laughed so hard and you felt so bad because your teacher had to explain it to me. That's awesome. Oh, we can jump big. Move to the wire to climb it, okay? You were the one, the youngest one, the youngest one in the school. You were 14. Wow. 14 in high school. That is kind of young, isn't it? You normally, do you normally start high school when you're 14 or 15? I, I don't remember because, you know, I, I'm an old man now. <laughs> Are we only at number nine? I'm surprised it's not farther. I think you may have missed one or two at some point, man. <laughs> it's all good, Rue. 15 normally? Cause I couldn't remember. I know, like I said, I know I left school when I was 16. And that was my second year of high school. And I turned 16 in January, so that was part way into the school year. So that means... Yeah, I guess technically I joined when I was 14 as well then. Right, yeah, because if it was my second year of high school and I had just turned 16 in January, then the previous year I would have turned 15 in high school. So I had to have started high school when I was 14. Yeah. You were 13 and graduated? How the hell did you end up in high school at 13? How does that work? Like, 14 even does sound a little bit young, but 13? What the hell, man? 17 when you graduated. Uh, I have no idea where the hell we're supposed to be going, by the way. Jump and grab. Oh, overhead pipe. Okay. Uh, can I, can I jump? I'm trying to jump. It's not jumping. Go with haste. No time oh, that's haste. not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I was trying to jump. Do I have to be, I think I have to be walking in order for it to jump. Uh, okay, let's try that again. We'll go back up. All right, and then... Okay, yeah, that's... 
That's weird. Yeah, we had to be like running in order for the jump to work. Otherwise, it just doesn't. Like when we're standing still, I'm pressing square. It's just not doing anything. It depends on when you start school. Fair enough. Yeah. I mean, honestly, yeah. I do know some people that are like held back a year because of their age, because like their birthday will be at a specific point that uh that they'll be forced to to start school a, a year or not a year, but you know uh, later than other kids and whatnot. I don't know when that cutoff point is, but I know it's a thing that happens. Me and one of my stepbrothers almost ended up being in the same grade because our birthdays are only six months apart. But again, because of our birthday placement, we ended up being in two different, uh, two different grades. Your birthday's in June, so you were always younger than everyone. Eh. Uh, ooh. Okay, this dude's just gonna... F ah! <laughs> uh, oops. I think uh, we may have gotten zapped just a wee bit there, guys. My bad. Ah, uh, man. I was trying. I was trying to wait to run the ad until after this section. But I think with us falling down now, this is like the perfect time to, to just run the ad. Because, yeah, we are... We're cutting it close to... Uh, to Twitch forcing me to anyways. So, let's do let's do the ad thing, man. We'll do that. I'll stand up, I'll get a drink, stretch a little bit. Y'all can use the bathroom or whatever if you need to. And then uh, we'll be back with some more Spiderwick Chronicles, I suppose. A game that I still have no idea what the hell is going on in. But, uh, isn't terrible, at least. I'll say that much about it. Holy shit, just die, Cockroach. Thank you. Okay, yeah. <laughs> let's do the ad thing, guys. We'll be right back in like uh, two, three minutes. Kind of disappointed with the quality of the uh, <laughs> the FMV here, considering, you know, this is a, a DVD game. <laughs> you think it would look a little more DVD quality, although I mean it's a lot better than say the PS1 or something like that. Sounds fun. That's what you're thinking. Yeah, one of these days, man. We do plan on it. Like we've talked about it a fair bit. It's just the logistics of how to do it because you can't really show, you know, movie clips without risking a bunch of copyright issues. So, yeah, just trying to logistically figure out how to do it without getting our accounts banned. <laughs> oh, yes, I forgot. World War II existed in this movie. Yeah, that's I, I didn't even know it took place during that time period. So, uh, we found five of the 21 secret items, apparently. I'm surprised there was that many in that one little level. With as short as it was, and the fact that it was, uh, it was timed, too, so. I'm waiting for that poor rating. Uh, 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 good. Okay, we'll take good, I guess. Good's, good's good. Good's okay. Have you played any of the Harry Potter games? Because, not gonna lie, this looks way like it, graphics-wise. I played one of them, but I don't remember which one. Um, I want to say it was one of the, the first ones in the series. But I don't even remember for sure if I had played that on, like, the Game Boy version or if it was, like, a PS1, PS2 one. I, I just don't remember. I have no idea. Harry Potter is one of my favorite properties out there, though. So, obviously, I would love to try them again. And the new one that's been announced for the PS5 looks amazing. I am super excited for that one whenever it comes out. Although, I haven't heard anything about it in a little while. So, hopefully, hopefully it's still uh, <laughs> hopefully it's still in, 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 in development coming out all right we are back how's everybody doing hope uh i hope everybody had a nice break man i had a nice little break i uh i did absolutely nothing <laughs> no I, I took a quick drink i'm actually gonna take another one because i'm still a little bit thirsty stood up for a moment felt good felt good you know get up and move around i really want one of those uh excuse me one of those uh lift desks or whatever the hell they're called the ones with the little motor where you can press the button and then it lifts up the entire the entire desk so you can use it as a standing desk or a normal sitting desk i would love one of them 
but I have like so many wires and shit. The logistics of getting it all set up and working properly would be terrible. Yeah, standing desk, but one of the ones that go like up and down, you know, you can use it either or position. That's that's what I want. That would be fun. That'd be nice. But one, they're kind of expensive. And two, like I said, I, I just have too many cords, man. <laughs> it's a mess. But thank you for the five bitch here, Mr. Noodle. I did see that love. I appreciate it. And uh, I took forever. I think you took forever. Okay, with your uh, with your your little your little bathroom excursion, <laughs> shower excursion, whatever you want to call it. Uh, how do we jump again? Is it square? I hope it's square. Yep, it was square, but it didn't work. We uh we jumped bad apparently. We can also run that way. I'm confused. <laughs> so we run that way, but it also like jumps. Why does it? I guess I guess we just have to go to to the edge to to jump. And square is just always a run button or something. I don't know, man. This game's a little weird, to be honest. All right, let's uh, make sure we time this right now whenever we go into the next section. Also, I noticed there's another cockroach back there. If we were doing a completionist run, we'd want to make sure to kill that, but nah, it's fun. I'm scared, man. We're gonna, we're gonna get freaking shocked again. We're good, we're good, we made it. Shower. You need a really tall desk and a tall chair so you can stand or sit at the desk. That would work. That would work. Be a little a little weird sometimes getting in and out of it maybe, but I mean it would work. Also, how is that a sacred stone? It looks like a rusty old bolt or something. <laughs> can I just shoot it? Oh no! It went in the pipe! And it sounds like metal. It sounds nothing like a stone. You burnt your back a little when you were rinsing off my lotion. Uh, I mean, there's this thing called a cold water knob. You know, you can you can turn that every once in a while. Uh, like you don't have to to just use the hot water, the the hot water knob there. You can you can turn the other one on, and then it it's not so hot that it burns you. That is an option. I mean, you do you shower however you want, of course. But uh, just a suggestion, you know, if it starts to hurt, maybe turn it down a little bit. That's all. Just my two cents, but you do you love. <laughs> find, find, find. Why why is he so obsessed with this thing anyways? Like what is that all about? I hear a roach. The roaches are kind of reminding me of uh skull scalula, skull sculcha, I don't remember what they're called, but from Ocarina of Time. The this little, the little skull the spider things that you have to attack and collect and shit. You did? You thought it was on enough, but then it got really hot and you turned the water off to put the lotion on? Oh. Okay. I mean, fair enough, I guess. Uh, gotta go down and get it. Gotta go fast. alley -oop. <laughs> I mean, it's interesting, the game, right? The game's been interesting so far, but it's just, it's weird, man. I still, I do want to still read the uh, the book or, or watch the movie, one or the other, or both. Noodle and I are going to have to put it on our list, especially since it's on uh, Netflix, or at least was whenever Doris Lady saw it. Because, yeah, I mean, it seems interesting, and we don't have to pay anything extra to watch it. We just use the subscription we already have. That's perfect. Um, wait, what? Are we going down? I don't know which way we're going. I'm lost. I'm not going to lie. I have no idea where we're going. Out that way, maybe? I'm just going through every pipe that I see, essentially, and hoping that it's the right direction, because <laughs> I don't see any arrows on the ground telling me where to go. I'm assuming we shouldn't go into the mousetraps. There it is again? Where? I mean, I know I'm blind. But I... Ah! I see it. Can we... Do we need to shoot it again? No, it doesn't seem like it. Not this time. 
You think you might make a steak? The steak does sound wonderful. Now, nah, Noodle and I, though, we're, we're on a budget. So, no steak for us for a while, sadly. I see a lot of uh, nor sides, uh, noodle and rice sides in our future, and uh, pastas of, of different types. Maybe the occasional chicken or pork chop treat. I don't know, but yeah, we're, we're on a bit of a budget at the moment. <laughs> at least until taxes come through or something, you know? Get caught up on some, some not bills. All of our bills are well paid off. And I don't want people thinking that we're like, uh, that we're that we're doing horribly or anything like that. Like, we're fine, but we do have debts that we need to take care of and things that are important. And by doing that, we'll have more just free cash as well, which would be very helpful. So, that's kind of the, uh, Let's hope I do not fall. the priority there, you know? You might head to Dollar Tree for snacks, though I'm a bit upset since they now do a 1 and 25 cents and under instead of a dollar and under. Yeah, I was reading about that. I haven't been to the Dollar Tree in a while, but, uh, I was reading about that, man. That they're no longer a dollar. A dollar or less. I mean, I understand, though. Like, the price of stuff is expensive. <laughs> And honestly, like, corporations, man, are just ridiculous, you know? Because the whole, like, people are going to bring up the paying people more is, is making costs rise and whatnot. And like, uh, yeah, I'm sure that doesn't help anything, paying people a living wage. But at the same time, it's like, man, these corporations are making record profits still, even with paying people more. So you can't really use the excuse that, like, they're paying their workers better, so they had to raise the cost on everything, etc., etc., etc. Like, it's just, no, no. We need people to stop being greedy little assholes and just sucking all of the money out of the lower middle, lower and middle classes, like, constantly. Nobody needs billions of dollars. Like, I'm sorry, but <laughs> no individual needs that much money, man. If your corporation is giving you that much money, maybe you start paying your people more. Maybe you start lowering costs. Like, whatever you got to do. It's, it's, anyways, I'm sorry. I'm going on a tangent, but you got lucky with some help. That's awesome, man. So much for everything is a dollar, but we also have a trucker strike affecting us. So what can you do? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that doesn't, <laughs> that can hurt things. That can hurt things for sure. Jared needs us to see the goblins, get it back to the study, or get back to the study. So wait, can we just use this instead of getting spit in our eye? <laughs> like, is that, a, is that an option that we have? Because, uh, that sounds like a pretty decent option. I'll, I'll take that option if it's given to me. Putting a, a weird metal stone to my eye instead of, uh, <laughs> being spit on by a hobgoblin. Uh, okay, he says up, we go up. Sounds good to me. And then I'm guessing we're just going to keep going up. Yes. Let's do it. Up, up, up. Okay, well, I didn't mean to go up there. I don't I don't think we were meant to go up into that part that we were uh, on for a ever so brief moment. Every time you say spit my eye, it makes me think of that one Hannah Montana episode. You'll have to explain. I don't remember Hannah Montana that well. <laughs> to know what the spit in the eye episode is. You got a cheap steak, five bucks for a pack of eye round. Nice, man. Yeah, I keep looking for like the discounted meats, but every time I'm over there uh, at the, uh, the meat section of the grocery store, it's always just empty. Like, <laughs> there's nothing there. And I'm like, well, I mean, there's meat, but there's no discounted meat. So, you know. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like a roach is really close somewhere, but I don't know where it's at, so. Trucker caused a serious accident and killed people, so he sent... Yeah, I, I actually read all about it. I know exactly what you're talking about it. The governor did end up, uh, not removing his sentence entirely, but he, he made it shorter, right? So instead of it being, like, over a hundred years... Or whatever, it ended up being, what, like a dozen or, or something? Which, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, the whole situation was kind of shitty. Because on the one hand, like, obviously not his fault. At least not entirely. But at the same time, he also did kill people. So, like, I don't know. I, that sort of stuff gets really complicated really fast. And I honestly don't know what the right thing is as far as 
him doing jail time. But what I do know, or at least strongly believe, is he did not deserve the 100 years in prison, or over 100 years in prison for something that, you know, wasn't purposeful in, in any means. And like you said, was likely largely caused by his employer being assholes. Like, <laughs> just, just greedy assholes, like so many corporations are, but it's the price of a regular pack. They started doing packs of two instead of four now. Oh, and Mr. Noodle says Miley and Jackson were fighting and then Miley was like, you just spit in my eye. And then Jackson was like, yeah, I did. That's gross. <laughs> that's a... Okay. Yep. That's a, that's a thing that happened in, in Hannah Montana. Apparently <laughs> we wanted him freed honestly, but I mean, it's better, but it's stat. Yeah, honestly it, it is. Uh, and again, I'm very happy, Re regardless of, of whether you believe that that involuntary manslaughter should lead to jail time or whatever, like, uh, whatever, however you feel about that whole sticky situation of a legal mess, um, I, I'm very glad that he didn't get the 100 plus years, because, you know, that's terrible. But yeah, and like... <sighs> And see, and with truckers, I, I don't know as much as you, I don't believe, because, you know, not from the area and all that. But I do know, like, a lot of truckers in our areas own their own trucks. So, to a certain degree, it comes down to them to do the vehicular maintenance and stuff like that. But I don't know if, uh, I don't know if that's common, though. And I'm sure every corporation's biz, blah, 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 every corporation's different. And again, it, it's a whole mess of a situation. But yeah, how much time did he end up getting? Because I don't remember what it was, how much exactly. I just remember it being less than 100 years. <laughs> he didn't like actually spit in her eye. It was like yelling at some split foo out of his mouth. Well, I mean, I figured that. I didn't, I didn't think he like held her down and then just spit in her eyeball. <laughs> like, <laughs> It's the family's reactions that got me the most. Like, yes, he killed them, but it was not his fault. And they should understand that. And while I understand they're in grief, I think they're taking it too far in ooh noodle gross. <laughs> now you're just getting even more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have to talk about it. And get yourself a depression snack. You deserve it, Rue. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we're we're back out here, which is good. Uh, this is where we're supposed to go because we're supposed to be giving it to the dude. Is the dude in the study? That's what I want to know. <clears throat> that whole story sounds horrible. Well, geez, am I the only one who saw that episode? Probably. You are you may be the only person here that's watched all of Hannah Montana. Like, I watched a fair bit of it, obviously, but I don't think I've seen every episode. You've watched the series like 10 times. Yeah, it's a little much, maybe. There you are. You want to find a better way to hold it on to your face, I'd say. Okay. That's cool. Well, we did the thing. We got the thing. We can hold it up to our eye, and now we can see invisible people. <laughs> what is our what is our quest? What are we actually supposed to be doing now? Help from Simon. Find Simon. Baseball bat Jared. Aluminum bat. <laughs> okay. Decorate the birdhouse. Find items for thimble stack. And then kill cockroaches as thimble stack. Interesting. Okay, so basically just, just run around and click on everything and talk to everyone for uh, the hundredth time. Nature stuff. Someone Got it. Would love it. Cool. So, yeah, I, I'm guessing that's what most of the game's gonna end up being then, is just... Like I said, it's almost like a point-and-click adventure, but not at the same time, you know? It's a little weird. Oh, stinky. And I imagine combat of some sort will end up coming into it. I mean, we do have, like, baseball bats and shit, you know? Pretty sure your great aunt did too. She hung up on my mom one time to see Billy Ray. I think you told me about that. It's insane. Her love for Billy Ray Cyrus. I mean, he's a decent looking dude, but I don't I don't I don't think he's that amazing. <laughs> like just hang up on the phone. Of course, I also don't think any celebrity is so beautiful that I would hang up on the phone with somebody. Uh, just to see them on TV a little bit better, you know? Unless I didn't like the person I was talking to. So, you know, maybe if I was on the phone with your mother, then... <laughs> I would hang up on her for, for Billy Ray. 
Even Ryan, man. Even Ryan. Again, unless, you know, I was talking to your mother, then perfectly understandable. <laughs> uh, Ryan Reynolds is a, a is a beautiful, beautiful man. But, uh, yeah, like, why hang up on the phone? You could say that. Simon doesn't like confrontations. Uh-huh. He can build a device for you. A monocule for your eye to look through. Wow. Good job. I actually, I was trying to put a doily in your thing. I got you a doily. Do you not, do you not want it? Do we have like a, a... I guess we don't have... I thought maybe we had like an item screen or something. Some way to, to use the doily. I mean, we found some stuff. I guess we have to find all of them. And then bring it back here or something. So I don't know. We'll go find Simon. We'll do the other one and just keep our keep our eye open for for shit in the meantime. I guess. Also, <laughs> I keep getting lost, man. <laughs> she needed her Billy Ray time, I guess. Pretty much all the tape CD she has are Billy. The lady is obsessed. It's yeah. It sounds like it, man. And you act like my obsession with Ryan Reynolds is weird. That's weird. Okay. I don't own every Ryan Reynolds movie out there. I only own, like... Actually, I hardly own any of them. <laughs> I've watched a lot of them on, on streaming services or, or from renting them or whatever. But, yeah, I guess I only actually own, what, Deadpool 1 and 2? That's probably it. I don't think I own any other Ryan movies. Old lengths of pipe. What are we going to do with that old pipe? Are we going to use that to make a aluminum bat? <laughs> just just pick up a pipe and call it a bat, man. Done. The question is, do you have Green Lantern? I actually might have Green Lantern. I don't remember. I probably blocked it out of my mind. <laughs> no, actually, I, I think I do have Green Lantern. I'm pretty sure we do have that one. I have I have way too many movies. It's hard to keep track of them all. When we showed her what he looked like in Old Time Road, she start, stared at my phone for like 10 minutes. Crazy. That's what you call people like that. Crazy. <laughs> I thought we did. Yeah, yeah, I think we I think we do have Green Lantern. I kind of forgot he was in it. <laughs> he's, he's only the Green Lantern, man. It's not like he plays that large of a role in it or anything, you know? I'm just going to wreck this whole house. Uh, I don't see anything else to collect. Also, we're, like, stuck. Okay. It's okay. We're free. Everything's fine. Did we already go around in here? I don't know. Whatever. Just go outside. Let's just go outside. Still need to watch Red Notice? We do. We really, really do. We ended up watching Don't Look Up. That one was pretty good. I, I really enjoyed Don't Look Up. It was. It's a weird movie. It's a really weird movie. But it's also kind of hilarious. Um... But yeah, it's it it's a very uh, hmm, politically charged movie, though. I will say that much. Uh, yeah. Hold R1 to look through the seeing stone. It's kind of weird that we're like looking over our shoulder. Man, there's just like magical crap everywhere, isn't there? They don't even they don't stay here for too long, do they? They disappear very quickly someone call me what did i miss you didn't miss much man you missed me running around in circles being confused and i don't think anyone called you unless uh you're wanting to to talk about politically charged movies because <laughs> that's that's what we were talking about don't look up and it being extremely politically charged you were told we need to watch a movie about a girl in a window across the street. It has a long ass weird name. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about, Noodle. Oh, a different Ryan. That we're, yeah, Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds, yeah. Only the sexiest man alive. That's all. That's all we were talking about. No worries. <laughs> I have a very small obsession with that man. Not nearly as bad as Noodle's aunt has for Billy Ray Cyrus, though, apparently. True, though. It's very true. I mean, it's just actually a fact. Like... Yeah, well, I need tips off the roof. 
He's up on the garage roof and won't come down. It's up on the garage roof and won't come down. down. Okay. Slingshot. Seen it? So now I have to I have to shoot at some small animal to get it off the roof yeah, so that I you'll make it. me a Here, monocle. Give it a shot. Why do you have my slingshot, kid? Stop stealing my stuff. Mom. Whatever his name is won't leave my stuff alone. I don't remember my brother's name. No, I haven't been smoking weed again, Mom. Just Mom, just tell him to give me my slingshot back. So wait, we hold R1 to go into not only monocle mode, but also to shoot things. Cool. So we can shoot just generic rocks or ball bearings. I'm assuming ball bearings do bigger damage than the generic rocks do. Mr. Tibbs, come back. <laughs> Is Tibbs a cat? Yes. Yes, they are. Oh my bad, it's a series. No, I need to hold it on my Did you eye. did you find what it was? Whatever. Like what it's called or whatever? The woman in the house across the street from the girl in the window. That's the name of the show. The woman in the house across the street from the girl in the window. <laughs> cool. Cool name. Are we just going to play as all of the characters now, don't we? Oh, he throws the berries. Okay. Simon, his name is Simon. Simon, chill your role, bro. <laughs> yes, says Noodle. Uh, what were we doing? I, I wasn't paying attention to their conversation at all. Uh, open the book back up, please. Also, Doris Lady, I don't know if you're still around, but if you are, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to grab Dorseman and force him to, to watch this book opening and closing because this is a good example of how we can do our menu in a, a game that we were working on. We, we the, one of the games that me and him have been, have worked on, we talked about having a book as like the main menu system because a, a book, magical sort of book kind of plays a central role to the game. And uh, this here just that works perfectly for that. So. Uh, also, I opened and closed the book like a hundred times and completely forgot to look at the quest to see what the hell we're supposed to be doing as Simon. So that's good. She said that is precisely what he has been trying to describe this whole time. Excellent. Well, <laughs> that works. That works. I'm, I'm glad we, uh, we're on the same page, at least. Bruh. Can we just like duct tape the stone to the, to our brother's head and call it a monocle? Just like just completely wrap him in duct tape with the monocle above his eye. It'll be perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> it's gonna have a cool name like the new Netflix show. Wait, what? What? I'm confused. It's it is it. I'm assuming you're saying is it. Same page book puns. <laughs> Oh, the game. Is the game going to have a cool name like the Netflix show? Maybe. Uh, we'll have to come up with something. That act, It makes me think of bands from like the 2000s with their ridiculous long ass names for songs and things like that. I mean, I guess there are some new examples like that. That BMTH song with Amy Lee. Uh, Someday the only butterflies left will be in your chest or whatever. Like that's a little much for a name. <laughs> Panic was really good at that, I feel. True, true. Find a lens and find spectacles. Okay, well, uh, we know where a lens or where spectacles are. I haven't seen any lenses anywhere, though. So we might have to look around for that. But the spectacles are up in the secret, secret, not so secret room, I guess. It would have been a secret if we wouldn't have knocked a giant hole in the wall. Garden spade. N not what we need. You see, if my memory wasn't shit, I might remember where all of these random things are that we've seen only a thousand times so far. But your favorite P-A-T-D Panic at the Disco title is there's a good reason these tables are numbered, honey. You just haven't <laughs> thought of it yet. Language isn't my strong suit. English specifically, but you know, language in general, really. <laughs> Hi, Mallory. Yep, okay, still a dick. Got it. What if I just push you, like, through the wall? <laughs> I guess we're going back inside. Maybe we'll find a lens there. There doesn't seem to be one out here, so. 
Still a bitch. Yep. Yep, yep. Oh. I can't tell if Noodle is upstairs and knocking stuff down or if one of the cats was doing something. But it sounded like something fell. Something small. Nothing, nothing like big broke or anything. But it sounded like something small fell behind me. Noodle, are you making a mess? Okay, guys. Has anybody seen a lens? Anywhere. I know where the spectacles are. That one's easy enough. We got that. But a lens. I don't remember seeing one anywhere. Just assume both. The cats knocked something over, as did Noodle. Honestly, that's probably true. I'm sure she'll deny it if she ever answers, but, uh... <laughs> she is extremely clumsy, though. She knocks shit over constantly. Breaks things, too. She's good at that. It's a talent of hers. Me? Yes, me. <laughs> And rather quiet at the moment, too. Suspiciously quiet, one might say. <laughs> we were asking if you knocked something over. It sounded like something fell. Nothing large, like nothing major, but it sounded like something small fell. And my first thought was either you or one of the cats. You guys doing okay? You still owe me a trip to the museum. You dropped the washer lid? Nah, I don't think it was that. It might have been that, though. I might just have uh, been hearing it from behind me, since that is where the door to the room is. To the to the room I'm in. You need it? Like, uh, like you need dough? Or... <laughs> or no, you... Okay. E-E-D. Gotcha. Like, ow, my knees. <laughs> Okay, well, here's the broken spectacles. We got that. Yes, I know this, but we need a lens now. Do you know where a lens is, kid? Give me a hint. Banged my knee into it. And you think Gary just ran down the steps? That's probably what I honestly heard then, was Gary running down the steps. I don't have all the parts yet. I should check the field guide. So I really needed a drink. I'm getting thirsty. A little break. A little break? No. No breaks for you, kid. I could spend all day up here. This seems uh pretty old. I doubt child labor laws are a thing yet. So no breaks for you. Pinned insects? Nope. I'm I'm lost. Antique saber? Alright. He said check the field guide. So we're in the field guide. Jared wants to wear that silly stone on his face. No shit. I know that. But, where, oh where, do we find pieces for it? The monocle allowed me freedom of movement with my hands, but I can really only see creatures that are nearby. Okay. But that doesn't tell me where are the damn lenses. The only place I don't think we've been is up here in the attic yet. So, maybe, maybe that's it. That reminded you of Oliver Twist? Wait, wait, which part? Ah, oh, we can steal it from the telescope! Of course! That makes perfect sense. Why not? <laughs> Glad you didn't hear me run up and down the stairs and almost trip on the way to get your body wash before your shower. I'm kind of surprised I didn't, to be honest, but... Uh, you're welcome, question mark. <laughs> hey, you're still around, Canes. I hadn't seen you in a while, man. Wasn't sure you were still here? Stupid brother. Ridiculous rock. Uh, the may to... I have a break? Uh, now to find that darn cat. The may I have... I need you to decode that message for me, Nate. <laughs> I don't know what it means. Tell Jared. Okay, we can do that. We can we can go tell Jared. Tell him, tell him that his, his monocle is finished. I'm kind of surprised, like... We never tried to put it on. Or I guess maybe we don't have this seeing stone or whatever it's called, huh? We just have uh it's done. the I stuff to make the monocle itself. Out. It's pretty neat up there. Man, this family has issues? No kidding. Huh, thanks. 
Huh, thanks, man. New story quest, a monocle. This game is riveting, let me tell you. <laughs> it's not like, like it plays okay, but it's it, like so many movie tie-ins, tie-in games that they're, it's just a little, uh, a little boring, you know? It's a slow going, but good series. I think I would enjoy it much more as a movie slash television slash book series, like for, for, for sure, you know? I, the May, I have a break part. Reminded me of Oliver Twist movie. The May I please have some more scene. I've never seen Oliver Twist. I don't think either. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen it. Monsters were after the book. And Jared knew he had to do something. Oh, no. That's a lot. Uh, Maybe get Mallory. She's like a, a fencing medalist or whatever, right? Oh, geez, stream. I'm sorry. Let go of your bro, you goblin bastards. <laughs> Our bro, not your bro. Whatever. Reading's hard, too. <laughs> Our brother's dying. Just take your time. Take your time. It's fine. Front gate. Okay. Got it. Or maybe get your sister so that she can just, like, chop him into pieces, you know? Stream can't speak English. That time it was more like stream can't read English. You know, I think I spoke it okay, but <laughs> I read it wrong. You haven't either, Noodle? It's wonderful. I've heard of it, obviously, but yeah, I've never seen it. and I, I don't think Noodle has either. Surprisingly, she's seen even less movies than I have. I I've, haven't seen that many, and she definitely hasn't seen half of them that I've seen, so... With the monocle, the unseen world can be seen more easily. Find Arthur's sprite net before going outside. You mean this one? I bet I could catch that health sprite with Perfect this. for catching sprites and fairies. Press L1 to select the net or switch back to your weapon. Okay. So we can go all GTA on your ass, or we can go... Uh... Animal Crossing. <laughs> Animal Crossing on your ass? Question mark. Hmm. <laughs> I'm glad you don't keep track of mine. You mess up so often. Yeah. I feel it, man. I feel that in my soul. If I kept track of everyone's, my brain would die. I'm half surprised that hasn't already just trying to keep track of mine, to be honest with you. Because, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes my brain thinks or says or does one thing and, and my, my tongue just does something different. My tongue and my lips, they don't always listen to my brain. They have a mind of their own, if you will. Uh, so wait, we have the monocle now, but like, oh, okay. Uh, Leatherwing Sprite. Hold X to paint. Paint the entire sprite before time expires and it flies away. What? Why do we have to paint the sprite? I don't understand what we're doing here, but I guess we're going to do it. I, my words faster than I can type. <laughs> what was what was that, Nate? You, your words faster than you type? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, man. Think you, uh, you might have had a little mess up right there. I'm just saying. Just, just a little one. Also, what should we do, man, for, uh, for hitting my, my, uh... Follower goal. We hit it, what, yeah, Sunday. Sunday night, we hit it. Whenever we were doing the, the podcast stream, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. I didn't really have any, I didn't really have any plans for it, to be honest. It just seemed like a, a reasonable goal to hit. But I feel like now that we have hit it, we should do, we should do something. I just don't know what. <laughs> I think my word's faster than I can type. That's right. Oh, it is Monday? Wait, today should be Tuesday. <laughs> uh well wednesday technically now but yeah tuesday tuesday night whatever you know it, no it's wednesday tuesday i type faster than i think img i'm tired <laughs> noodle needs help i don't know are we okay we're just painting it on the page okay i'm glad i don't actually have to paint it because that would be bad uh, not much of a painter, you see. 
beautiful. Gotcha. Look at that masterpiece. I am freaking Picasso over here. OMG. <laughs> I just got so excited for no reason. Were you excited about Murder Makeup Mondays, I'm assuming? Ah, uh, Noodle, you know what we actually need to do? Hey, have a good night, Doris Lady. Thank you for being here, man. I appreciate it. Um, uh, shit. Words, things, TV show. Uh, Frozen Train Show. It's really good. There's a new season out. It's playing. I can't remember the name of it. Snowpiercer. Snowpiercer. We need to watch Snowpiercer season three or whatever it's at. Love. Polar Express, that's a movie. Yes. I mean, it's a pretty decent movie, but no. Snowpiercer. It's really good. I love that show. And I saw on the TV at work, uh, I don't remember when exactly, but it was on. And I had to try to ignore it while I was uh, taking my break because I didn't want any spoilers. So we need to see if it's on any of our subscription services so we can watch it. And yeah. Lafayette is in it from uh, that 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 sh thing that people sing in on Broadway with historical presidents and shit. <laughs> I don't remember names of things. In the Heights is the name of the other one that the same dude made. Lynn manuel uh, The name sounds familiar, but I don't know from what. Hamilton! It's Hamilton. That's what it is. Yep. Indeed, you got me, and in return I shall accompany you cool. and will heal you. Cool, cool, cool. You caught a Leatherwing Sprite, which has the power to fully restore your health. For every two Leatherwing Sprites recorded, your maximum health increases. Oh, so we should we should just uh, catch as many of them as possible, really, then. Is what it sounded like to me. David Diggs or something like that. Yeah, that sounds about right. So I'm, I'm confused. Can we see Sprites and stuff all the time now? Or can we only see them when we're pressing R1? Because, like... I don't know. I mean, it doesn't seem like there's that many of them around here. Okay, there's one over there. Okay, yeah, it seems like we can just see it all the time now. Uh, can I catch you? What do you do? Flower head sprite. Uh, paint. Paint the flower head sprite. Uh, Gilmania. Oh, it's got wings. Shit, big wings. Okay, we got it. <laughs> The flower head sprite blows away enemies with whirlwind power. Each time two flower head sprites are recorded, the whirlwind will target an additional enemy. Neato. How do we switch between magical powers? L2. Okay. Two Simon, indeed. Let's go. Pretty sprite? It was a pretty sprite. The question is, where is Simon now? And what are you? You look like a chubby old thing there. Will o' the Wisp. What do you do for us? You look a little creepy, not gonna lie. Is this how Will-o'-the-Wisps usually look? I always just consider them to be more, like, elemental looking. Not so grotesque. <laughs> Got a Will-o'-the-Wisp, which can distract and lead goblins away. After all, Will-o'-the-Wisps are caught. You can steer it by holding. Triangle. After all Will-o'-the-Wisps are caught, you can steer it by holding. So if we catch all of them, we can drive it. <laughs> You can only catch three at a time. Okay. Fair enough, game. Fair enough. Where art thou, Simon? Goblins! Press X to attack. Press square to evade. The leaves on the branch upper left show your remaining health. Uh, attack! Hit him! Hit them all! <laughs> Collect goblin teeth to unlock new attacks. Go to the character page in the pause menu to read about the uh, lay attacks. Okay. So we can collect goblin teeth as well. Interesting. You expected a ball of purple fire? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. For me, I don't know. I was thinking something just a little more bright, you know? Not necessarily purple, just just bright and, and on fire, obviously. Do we need to go back to Simon? Oh, Simon's, Simon's trapped. We have to save Simon. That's right. I was thinking we need to talk to Simon. No, we need to, we need to save his ass. From being eaten by the goblins. We got a neat rock that I completely uh, skipped, so I don't know what it does. <laughs> There's another decoration for the birdhouse. Cool, I guess. Bruh, I'm sorry. My mind goes everywhere, but not usually where I need it to go. Everywhere else, though. It does a pretty good job at that. Uh, I can't catch you right now, but I want to. I'm sorry. 
What happens if I try to catch you? Can I still, like, record you in my book? Uh, I'm the worst Animal Crossing player ever. Sprout Sprite. You're kind of neat looking. I kind of like you. So like a like a weird grasshopper thing. A hollyhock. Right, Let me go and I will give you a fairy fruit. Ah, very cool. Okay. So if we catch things and we can't use them, they just give us stuff. Useful things. What are you? Sorry, I just want to catch everything. I'm not going to. I'm going <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna go. We're gonna do the path. Wherever the path is, we'll find it eventually, if you can't even catch it. I am a professional Animal Crossing player, okay? I never miss my catch. <laughs> That's only a, a like, 90% lie. Uh, anyways, save your twin, you fool. Are we twins? I was wondering why the two of us looked so close in age. Fire salamanders cause a nasty burn. Look. I, I didn't have a chance to react there. That one wasn't my fault, okay? I was already, like, walking into it whenever it, it, it triggered. You can't blame me for that one. <laughs> Bullshit. I mean, you saw it. The message popped up, the message closed, and then, bam, blowing up in my face. Like, there was no way to avoid it. It was, it was done. Ugh. We look ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, yes, Noodle? Did I, did I say or do something? Also, I just realized it's been 45 minutes again since, uh, since we've taken a break. Although, at this point, we'll probably just finish up the stream and then, you know, run an ad at the end of the stream or whatever and then call it a day. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to find my, my, uh, supposedly my twin of, uh, of a brother first before we, before we end the stream. Uh, you need to be more careful with a 10-foot couch blanket. Half of it was in the freaking couch. How's that my fault? You want to know how much time I spend on the couch? About 30 minutes a day. You want to know how much time Noodle spends on the couch? Because I promise you, it is much, much more than 30 minutes a day. <laughs> so if it's anybody's fault, I'm just saying it might not be mine. Just a thought. You know? <laughs> you cocoon yourself in the blankie? I mean, yeah, you very well may, but it doesn't change the fact that, uh, I think it had nothing to do with me. <laughs> Paint him! Dusky Crane's bill! Damn you, Dusky! <laughs> Alright, get the wings! Get the wings! This is, like, actually kind of stressful, trying to paint these things. what I miss? Oh, man. I got so scared. We were close. That gives us more health, so we have a whole extra leaf of health now. Uh, also, fire salamander. Avoid that. I'm assuming we can't go across the pool of lava? Unless, is that, like, what the fire salamander... The, the fire salamanders... Uh, we'll just get rid of that for now. Ah, no! I didn't do it. It wasn't me. All right, never mind. Ignore the fire salamander. <laughs> Think they're so cute, and he said, ooh, wait, what? Oh, tortilla blankets. Yeah, no. It just looks weird to me, man. It looks really weird to me, the tortilla blankets. Like, uh, just, something looks off. It looks like a, uh, like a dirty blanket or something. Like a blanket smeared with, with, with just dirt. It's, uh, yeah, not my, not my style. You want a stitch onesie? Stitch onesie would be cute. You want to slap me? what I do? <laughs> because the tortilla blanket's ugly? <laughs> I don't, that's not my fault. I didn't make it ugly. Stray sod cannot be captured unless they're confused first. Run around them to make them dizzy. That's cute. Uh, I can't run around you because you're, like, up against, uh, some stuff. That stops me from dizzifying you, but... So it's kind of like this game's half Pokemon, half, uh... Half Pokemon, half point-and-click adventure. Basically, right? Like, we're running around, 
collecting strange creatures, capturing them and forcing them to do our bidding. But we're also just collecting a million random items that we can or can't use until some point in the game, maybe. <laughs> There's a Snorlax comfy. That sounds very nice. Snorlax is one of the best Pokemon ever, hands down. Like, there is no way around that. That's just a fact. You want it? You want it? Oh, you have a Grumpy Cat one? That's cute. Oh, because I went into another Salamander? I mean, look, these things happen sometimes. <laughs> oh, crap. Forgot you have a 9 a.m. appointment. Gotta go, guys. See you later. Ah, yeah. Have a nice night, Rue. And I hope everything goes well tomorrow, then, man. Thank you for being here. I really do appreciate it. You watched the trailer for the new Pokemon finally, and now I want it more. Me too, man. Ugh, I want it. I think... No, I don't know. I was gonna say after the stream tonight, I think I'm gonna play one of my other Pokemon games. Because that's that's my rule for myself, right? I can't, uh... I can't play the new one or buy the new one until I beat at least one of the old ones. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna have time to play it tonight after... After the stream. Looks like LOTR or Fable combat style. Fable-esque, maybe? It, it, I mean, it doesn't have, like, the magic and everything like that, but yeah. Kinda. I haven't played the LOTR games outside of, uh, the turn-based RPG one that I was playing. Third Age, it's called? Get it, Nate? It's worth it. It does. It, I, it, I think it probably is. It, it looks really good, man. From the... I haven't watched any full reviews or anything because I don't want too many spoilers of the game. But what I have watched review-wise of it and, and from the people I know that have talked about it, that have played it, like, it, it seems really good. Um, okay, it was, like, pointing up here. Does that mean... Can we, like, shoot something up here? To go down here? Like, I see his face keeps turning this way. But I don't see anything over here I can interact with. Maybe maybe it's telling me I have to go up there and push the barrel. Not the barrel, the log or whatever the hell that is down. That would make sense. That's probably what I need to do. Oh, as far as the podcast goes, I don't know uh, who, who here all watches the podcast or doesn't. But the plan for the podcast, I already kind of mentioned that we're doing like the top 15-ish games. Uh, releasing one or two of those a month. For, for the podcast, but we are this week run forward to auto jump cross short gaps. Okay. This week, the plan is doing um, Kingdom Hearts and was it Grand Theft Auto San Andreas? Was that the other one? Also, we have a charge attack. I didn't know that. That's neat. So yeah, so that, that should be fun, man. Kingdom Hearts, as, as I'm sure a lot of people know already, is one of my favorite games of all time. And Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, I mean, we just played that the other day on stream, and a ton of fun. And if I remember correctly, also the number one best-selling game uh, on the PS2. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. You're still grinding the rest of Fairy Tale, and that's why you watch the trailer rather than the review. Yeah, that's very fair. <laughs> very, very fair. Some more, ammo for my more ammo? What is this? Stone Mouse? Is that another decoration or something? There must have been a cockatrice here once. According to the field guide, they turn you to stone. Oh, so we should probably watch out for that. Don't want to turn into stone. I think that would be bad for us. <laughs> Time is it? We are at 125. It is getting late. I wonder how long this mission... Oh, thank God that didn't kill us. I... For some reason, I don't know, I expected there to be, like, a spike pit or something down here. I mean, this is like a kid's game based off a, a kid's movie slash book. So I don't know why I was like, oh no, we're, we're gonna actually die. But, um, <laughs> you know, for some for some reason, that was, that's, that's instantly where my head went, was there's gonna be a spike pit down here and we're gonna be murdered because we fell in this hole. Uh, this looks like a boss goblin. Oh, yeah. Did you see all that? We got so many freaking teeth <laughs> from that goblin. 
Attack unlocked. You have unlocked the evade attack. Press square to slide, then X to leap into the air and slam the bat down, making them dizzy or something. Oh, bro. That is way too epic for this little kid. <laughs> like, going into slow motion and then that, that sound. I don't know how well it's coming over since this game is so quiet, but, uh, wow. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty cool, actually. You were showing Sierra the trailer also because you thought she may like it. Does she play much in the way of games? Noodle doesn't play a whole lot of games. She plays some. Like, she does like Pokemon. She doesn't play them a whole lot, but every once in a while she'll play a Pokemon game. Animal Crossing, God of War. She likes some stuff, but she doesn't play a whole, whole lot. Uh, I can't see you. Are you here? There it is. Uh, yeah, get wrecked with my slow motion ultra attack that you can't see. Or we can't see. I, You might have saw it. I don't really know what you could or couldn't see, but I didn't see it. What are the blue ones do, I wonder? It's freaking zooming, man. Come here, flower winged sprite. Okay. I got a leg. Oh, this is a cute one too, man. Uh, Hilo is its name? Did we get it? We got it. That was close. Hey, let's see what you can do. You got a flower wing sprite. Use dash power to run fast for a short time. Every two sprites recorded increases the power's duration. So wait, we can just run now? That's that's what it does? Gives us Le Sonic speed? <laughs> oh, well, it might come in handy to get away from whatever the hell that creepy ass looking thing is. She likes Animal Crossing a lot. You know what? I honestly can't blame her, man. Animal Crossing is the shit. Yeah, that thing doesn't look friendly. Oh, okay. Terrible time to use it because, you know, we ran into an invisible wall instantly. But the the three seconds of running fast that we got was pretty cool, though. You know, not even three seconds, really. It was like um, half a one, but it was neat. New story quest, Quarry Walls. Hi, Mr. Hobgoblin Goblin Dude. I hope you don't mind dying at the hands of my baseball bat. Uh, you came out of nowhere. I mean, I guess that's kind of your guys' thing. So you are invisible unless, uh, unless you don't want to be. I should probably heal. We're not in a great spot at the moment. Uh, are you a health sprite? You look like a health sprite. Can you, uh, can you go in my net? Leatherwing sprite harmagargling? Harmagargling? <laughs> I'm not drunk, I promise. Alright, head kind of painted itself. G freaking G, man. Look at that time we had left. Take the fuse. Okay. I can't get through that. I bet you there's a fuse box nearby. Maybe the one you just took it out of. I mean that is a fuse box. Hence why there was an old fuse in it to take out. I'm just saying. Uh Oh, yep, nope, that's not what we want. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna I don't think we're gonna capture the freaking hobgoblin or whatever the hell these things are called. I mean we might. I could I could very well be wrong, but I, I think our goal is to murder them, not not capture them in our net. Bruh, I didn't expect it to open up like this, I'm not gonna lie. I was, I, there was a period of time where I was thinking most of the game was going to end up just taking place inside the, the house, the mansion or whatever they called it. Like this, uh, things really opened up. It's got a lot of, of space, a lot of brevity, a lot of open air. Die, goblin, die. Is that another health one? I will collect you, because you could come in handy. Plus, uh, by collecting you, you should give me more health. More max health. Which would be incredibly useful. So we don't die. Longo. I wonder what, like, the max health, the true max health is. How far does it go? Do we shoot those? How do we shoot again? 
Oh no, the frame rate is starting to take a hit, man, as we're getting into these errors. Errors? These areas. I don't know what the point of shooting these is, but they're obviously, uh... Like, here for us to aim at, so it must do something, right? Uh, okay, so shooting that one doesn't seem to be doing anything. There's one more over there, though. Is that the last one? Uh, I guess we'll figure out what that did sooner or later. Climb on down here. Uh, I bet you that's the fuse box in there. Oh, hey, aluminum bat. <laughs> Look at that. We didn't even have to to, to make it or anything. We just, we just found it, man. It just gave it to our to to us for free. No power. Okay, where's the fuse box then? Uh, oops. I didn't mean to fall down here. But it's too late now. Are you a fuse box? The circuit is now complete. I don't know if anyone ever taught you, kid, but you probably shouldn't be playing with uh, the fuse boxes and, and, and zappy things and whatnot. Doesn't seem all that safe, that's all I'm saying. Yes. Now I can get across. Yes. Now what? <gasps> now I can get across. Across to what, though? What are we doing? Actually. What are you? Are you... Are you another... What do they call him? Brownie? You look like one, but it doesn't seem like we can do anything with you. At least not yet. Maybe it'll change. But there's no way to operate it. There's no way to operate? I mean, I'm sure there is a way to operate it. Just because you don't know how doesn't mean it's impossible. <laughs> Did he just eat that bird? Huh? No, genius. Up here. Oh, great. A talking goblin. Hobgoblin to you. Goblin to the scum of the earth. Serving ogres. Oh, okay. So this is a regular goblin. ogre killed my family. I'm here on a mission to destroy him. But you're stuck in a cage. I mean, fair. Yeah. Well, it looks just like you. You've seen Simon? Where is he? Up just like me. What do you say we help each other out? Well, let me out of here and I'll free him for you. Yo. How? I can't reach you. There's a doohickey up in the tree. Loosen it to lower me down. I feel like we shouldn't trust him, but uh, I also feel like we don't have a choice, so. Loosen the doohickey, we shall. Where is the, the doohickey? I don't know, man. Apparently, it's up in the tree. Can I... See Le Doohickey? Uh... Oh. Just shoot all of these things and maybe something will happen eventually. Doesn't seem like I can hit any more from here, though. Maybe from this platform? Aha! Hit it! Oh, that, that was it. That's all we had to do? Okay, well, <laughs> that ended up being even easier than I thought. You're lowered open. Don't screw us now, Mr. Goblin. Thanks, kid. Now, I'll free your brother and tell him to meet you back at the river. Wait, give him this so he can see the goblins. Yeah, 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 sure, whatever. I, uh, but before I do, look at me, kid. <laughs> Ew. Oh, Mr. Noodle, look away. Now you can see the unseen world without the stone. Have fun. Oh, no. That's kind of gross. I'm glad we can see now, though. That's, uh, that's nice. I don't I don't have it but I, I know where it is if I if I bring it to you then you'll leave us alone you have my word don't trust the ogre Recap, ogre's not friends 
Like I said. <laughs> Ogres can't be trusted. Sorry, I, I shouldn't lump all ogres together like that. Here's a gift from boy number one. Oh, the monocle. But where's Jared? He's he left your ass. At the river. That thing said he'd let us go if we gave him the book that Jared took. Hmm. And you're supposed to be the smart one. <laughs> that ogre will eat you and your family for dinner as soon as he gets his claws on that book. Uh, okay, so other than spitting in your eye, maybe this goblin isn't that bad, you know? All right, well, with that autosave and considering how late it's getting, I think that's all the time we got for tonight, guys. Uh, this game, honestly, it's not too bad. It's a little, it's a little slow, you know, but it's not bad. I could, I could finish this one and not, and not absolutely hate myself as long as it's not too long. You know, that's, that's always the question with these things is just how long is the game going to end up being, you know? Because if it's, if it's a nice, short, and sweet game, then fine. You know, whatever. We, we could do it. But if it ended up being like a 15-hour experience or something like that, it would be a little bit much. According to how long to beat, it's on average four and a half hours just for the main story. Eight hours for the whole game. That's not too bad. That seems like it would be manageable. I probably won't willingly come back and play this one unless, you know, someday in the future... Uh, I, I decide to finish every PlayStation 2 game, which would be awesome, but uh, also a bit of a daunting task. <laughs> but yeah, no, this one, this one's not too bad. Uh, what are we doing? Today is Tuesday, so Wednesday will be off. Thursday we'll be back with another PS2 game. I, I don't know what game yet. If anybody has requests, you're always free to let me know, but most of the time we just play something random from my collection. Uh, same thing again on Friday night, and then we'll be back Sunday with Ratchet and Clank as well as the podcast Sunday night. So, yeah, guys, I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. I know I had some fun with this one. Thank you for everybody who showed up. Nate, Canes, Rue... Uh, Mr. Noodle, Dorse Lady, thank you all. Anybody else who came and just kind of chilled without speaking in chat or whatever, I appreciate you too. You are not left out. Uh, I hope you all had a wonderful night, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye, all.